In Syria, U.S. airstrikes and artillery fire last week reportedly killed scores of Russian mercenaries who joined a failed assault on a base held by U.S. and Kurdish forces in Deir ez-Zor. Bloomberg reports more than 200 soldiers for hire fighting on behalf of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad were killed in the fighting, including many Russians. Meanwhile, some of the fiercest fighting in the seven-year conflict continues to rage in the northern city of Afrin, the rebel-held enclave of eastern Ghouta and other parts of Syria. United Nations Special Envoy to Syria, Stefan de Mistura, warned Wednesday civilians have been killed on a horrific scale, with more than 1,000 killed in the first First week of February alone. I've been now four years special envoy. This is as violent and boring and dangerous a moment as any that I've seen in my time of uh, tenure so far. On Wednesday, videos circulated on social media showing an aid convoy arriving in the besieged rebel held Damascus suburb of eastern Ghouta. The nine trucks were the first to arrive in the area since late November of last year. They held food and supplies for an estimated 7,000 people in an area where 400,000 civilians remained trapped by fighting. The latest violence in Syria came as the British charity Save the Children warned in a new report at least 357 million children, or one in six worldwide, are living in conflict zones. Campaigner Kitty Arry says the number is up by 75 percent from the early 90s. In Libya, the sort of at things they're dealing with are.